Welcome back to Dot Two Basics with ConsoleTraining.com. In this episode, we're just covering outputting Dot Two out via ACN or ArtNet. Uh, you may be aware that as of version 1.2, you can now output one free universe, and that's Universe One, without any MA hardware attached. This is a fantastic feature for grassroots users, and this was one of the main reasons that we were able to get DMX King on board. When MA announced this, we approached DMX King and said, your hardware is absolutely fantastic. We'd love to get our hands on some of it to, uh, to give out to young technicians and programmers so that they can go out and they can start doing their own little shows. Now, to begin, we need to configure the ArtNet node or the ACN node. To do this, with the DMX King devices, we download an application off the DMX website called DMX Configuration. We plug the device in, we make sure we're in the right IP range, and we get presented with the following little box. From here, we can do a number of things. We can change the IP address, we can update network settings, we can change the firmware if required. But the main thing we can do is we can configure the update rate, the merge mode if there is a merge involved, and also the, the universe. Now when it is set to DMX out, these little boxes will spit out ArtNet or ACN or both at the same time if required. We're only going to be spitting out ACN because it's a lot more friendly and runs on a lot more uh, networks. ArtNet, you'd have to be in the 2 or 10 range of IP addresses, so that would be 10.0.0. something or 2.0.0. something. But most of the situations we run here, the 192 range is probably what you're going to be ending up running in, and ACN performs perfectly there. So once we've got the node configured, it pretty much comes out of the box configured, ready to go. All we had to do was plug in a USB cable for power and a Cat5 cable for signal. We can jump into Dot2. Now, to set up the output, you need to go to Setup, go to Network Interface, Make sure you're using your Ethernet card and not the loopback interface. Make sure you're running a session. By default, a session is always running. And then go to Network Protocols, Green Tick. You can then simply output ACN. And we can see here we've got a bunch of options. Essentially, we don't need to change anything. And anything that is patched on Universe 1 will work. Just to confirm, without any MA hardware, you can now output one universe via ArtNet or ACN. This is a really quick video. Hopefully it's been of use to someone or a couple of you. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you haven't watched the first video, we highly suggest you do that, because then essentially we've built a nice little system. In the previous video, we controlled some faders, the, our two faders we have here, using some MIDI hardware. By doing that and combining it with one of these nodes, you've got yourself a show set up ready to actually go out and run a show with. After this video, we've got a very short little uh, advertisement showing you how you can win your own eDMX Pro device from DMX King. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.